Now all of this started with the troubled townhouses of Willowbrook located in Bradenton. Last August, we first brought you the stories of these new condos with huge water intrusion, mold, and balcony problems. September, our investigation revealed KB may have known about construction problems prior to even selling some of their units. Then in October, KB Home finally agreed to allow a new independent contractor of the homeowner's choice tackle the water intrusion issues on the home. And in December, following another Another one of our stories, residents of the homes under construction disrupted during the holiday season were finally put up in hotels. And now, nearly nine months after our first stories, Ted News investigator Noah Prensky has new information on the problems at Willowbrook. Well, Reggie, it's been six months since the current repairs started there, and crews are still working on the same three buildings they started at Willowbrook. Three buildings now out of 51 they've been able to tackle. So it's hard to blame residents for their frustrations, which seem right now like they'll be lingering on for many, many more years. Homeowners tell us the lack of progress there means the inside of their walls is either beyond repair or the independent contractor now in charge wasn't the right choice for the job. 10 News did some digging and it turns out the construction company now doing the work, do all construction, had never been in charge of a job prior to last summer. That's when Willowbrook's management company recommended them for the multi-million dollar gig. But we got a hold of their resume from the state and something just doesn't add up. That's why residents are concerned about outside influences. They wanted to make sure that we had an independent, completely third party to come in and would look out for the best interest of the construction. We trusted our management group to, to bring us an independent contractor. Hey, Sal. Noah Pransky with 10 News Investigators. Can we have a quick word with you? I want to do uh, I don't want the camera in here. We just a couple questions. And, I, uh, we don't want the camera in here. Wanted to chat with you on the phone. You didn't want to talk to on, on the phone. We don't. Will you talk to us at all? Yeah. Um, not with the camera. We're not interested in being on camera. Okay. We answer the questions that we have off I, camera? I can review the, the questions you have and I'll answer that. I mean, is it, can we sit down and arrange something? So we caught up with one of Duwall's owners, Sal Ventimiglia, who wanted nothing to do with our questions. He later issued a statement that we put on our website, WTSP.com. And while the Homeowners Association ultimately picked Duwall, residents there say that they came as a recommendation from their management company. A closing message from them. If you find yourself in a similar situation in your community, the homeowners say persistence can pay off, and they recommend taking your complaints to the media as well as to the Internet.